Okay, how to build a coat hanger fractal antenna. Now, this is my first instructional video, so bear with me as I figure this out myself. Uh, I have not yet built this antenna, and uh, I'll be documenting the construction and giving as much detail as possible throughout this video while trying to keep it under 10 minutes. First of all, just a little bit about fractal antennas. They were actually discovered back in 1988. Um, and patented in 1995. A fractal is basically like a snowflake. The fractal antenna is a geometric pattern that repeats itself. So uh, like in a snowflakes case, this, this is the base pattern that I'm going to go with for my fractal antenna. And I bent this last night out of a coat hanger. Um, any coat hanger will work, but you want to make sure that the uh, thickness is the same. Length doesn't matter as long as your smallest coat hanger is big enough to make whatever geometric pattern you're going to make. Uh, I'm actually combining two different designs uh, for my fractal HDTV antenna. Uh, one design is just a, a standard uh, coat hanger antenna. Uh, this is a combination of that and other fractal antennas that you're going to find out there on uh, various sites on the internet. And I suggest you do look around and uh, do a little research. If you want to try something different, please let me know what you find out. If I know of any good links, I will post them wherever. You will need four fractal antennas made exactly like this or very close to this. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these for right now. Copperish colored or bronze colored coat hangers have a coating on them. Uh, one effective method is to just take a pair of needle-nose pliers and the center point of this entire wire is going to be right about here in the middle and I just kind of rub it back and forth, back and forth. And you can use a paring knife, uh, just be safe, don't cut yourself, no, uh, you know, wear gloves and safety goggles and all that stuff. See it there? Right there, I'm, I'm starting to scratch through the, the plastic coating that's on this. You want it pretty good and clean so you have good connectivity, good connection. Yeah, you can see it there. Well, as I cut the hoop off. All right, then I'm going to just kind of take apart the top of the coat hangers. I did not straighten my coat hanger completely out. I, uh, I simply made a, uh, a square missing one side out of it. Straighten out all the bends of the coat hanger itself. Get all the bends and curves out the best you can. You don't have to be super accurate, but the more accurate you are, the better reception you'll probably get. And I just kept that at a 90 degree like that. And I do the same thing on this side. Right, now there's no relevance to the fact that this is square. Um, it just made it easier to work with than trying to work with a 42 inch long piece of coat hanger wire. The design that I came up with for this antenna, uh, I had no pattern. I just saw pictures on the internet and I kind of came up with myself. Each of these sections are one inch, roughly one inch apart. So if I were to straighten this out, it would be really close to 36 inches long. I want to make sure that the piece that I'm beginning with is well over 36 inches. And then I basically, when I'm done, I just cut the excess off the end so that it's good and even. First bend that I'm going to make will be the center bend. And I'll work my way out on each bend all the way around until I get to these last two bends. And I'll be building both sides simultaneously. And uh, one thing that I found uh, helped quite a bit was as I made these bends, I tried to stay uh, parallel with other lines. For example, uh, if you'll notice this angle is the same as this angle, or real close, which is the same as this angle. I've seen a lot of the fractal antennas out there on, on uh, various websites, and some of them are not as geometrically uniform as this and work fairly effectively. So I'm hoping that this one being even more geometrically accurate will get a better reception. So, uh, 
and it is scientifically proven and very, very effective, and I think you'll find it worthwhile and a fun little project to do. Right here's going to be the top of my center star for that right there. So I'm going to basically pattern these bends off of this piece. I will do <laughs> All of my uh, bends are approximately one inch long. All of my sections are one inch long, roughly. I use um, the parallel lines to help me get this design about right. So you can see when I get done with this first pen, I want this line in the middle to be pretty much uh, parallel. Try to keep the general shape about the same. You want to try to keep the length of the materials about the same. You want to try to keep the distance between the ends here to here and here to here about the same. Okay, I remember earlier when I said to uh, that you need to make sure you wear gloves and safety glasses and stuff like that. Yeah. See the blisters I got there just from bending that wire. But uh, it'll blister your hands up if you're not careful. So. so that's how you bend your angles to make your fractal antenna, or at least a segment of your fractal antenna. When you're all done, you'll have um, four of these and four smaller antenna that will be attached to the uh, complete structure and um, I might be making a separate video that will go through construction it'll have the plans um, this was the thing that I had a hard time finding on the internet how to you know the best way to make one this is actually my own design um, I couldn't find one exactly like this I found one that was similar so my concept was you know I have a star here and I have a star here and you could visualize this being part of another five point star. If you were to zoom out or zoom in, any one of these points could mirror this whole concept. I think this is what we really want to collect the frequencies that we're trying to grab. We're gonna find out because I will do a test when I'm all done and show you the before and after. So if you came through this video and you know how something like that you are on an excellent start to building your own fractal antenna and i'm very proud of you <laughs>